Hello, my name is Sam from Code Bundle, and this is the third time I've attempted to do this video. This video is going to be an information dump regarding the stack. So the stack is a linear piece of information inside your computer that is structured similarly to a number line. It is built in different sections and allows for the storing and retrieval of data. Each one of these sections is a different amount of space apart for units to be exact and this allows you to uh, store and retrieve data you can push information onto the stack or you can pop it back off and whenever you start a program from the terminal or graphically uh, any arguments are passed to it now arguments are simply the number of things you use to start it up so the first point on the stack gets the num total number of arguments you store in it. The next one gets the name and then you get the first proper argument. And then the second and so on and so forth. Now for example say your first argument was hello. Well then the spot for hello the spot here, which I think would be 048, would store a number that tells the computer where to look to find the first argument, hello. So it would create a temporary space in data where it will put hello, and then when there, uh, the number 8 in the stack would have, th this section here, referencing number 8, would say where this argument is being stored in the computer, where in temporary data. So this effectively links to this. But there's a register that links to the current position in the stack pointer, and this is called the stack pointer, or extended stack pointer. And this points to the currently active area of the stack. So by adding 4 to this, you can move it to the next section. And by subtracting 4, you move it back. So the stack pointer can be used in order to move where the stack is, or you can push and pop to add things. So when you pop something off the stack, it adds four, and when you push something on, it subtracts four. Now, there's a very w nice way to u write your programs called subroutines, and these very heavily rely on the stack in assembly. Um, so let's say we set up the sub subroutine uh, using global, to say it's a global subroutine, and we're going to call this apple. We can then anywhere in the program call Apple. And when we call Apple, the current position in the program gets stored on the stack. So we have our current position in the stack. We have our current position in the program stored on the stack. We can then do whatever we want in the Apple section of the program. And by hitting RET, putting that syntax at the end of it, it will recover what we've put in the stack and go back to that location in the program and continue running the code. This is different to a jump because a jump doesn't store on the stack and therefore you can't use return. The problem with this is if we push anything in this time we either have to pop it back off or uh, sorry or subtract no. Yeah, or add to the stack pointer in order to make it so that our ret function that the stack to make so the stack pointer is in the right place to use our return function. And if it isn't, we'll segmentation fault, which is always fun. So this provides you with a basic overview of the uh stack and subroutines and I will be using these quite a lot in upcoming assembly tutorials. Uh, the next thing we'll do is an echo script and then probably a cat